What's up everyone? Come with us as we visit the Basilica del Santo Niño of Cebu City. Every time Ronnie and I visit Cebu City, we never fail to drop by at the Santo Nino Church. And this is the Magellan's Cross. Too bad we can't get inside. It is under renovation according to this lady because of the earthquake last 2015. So we're heading up to the church, but next time I'll be posting a video or a photo in my Instagram. Watch out for that guys. Even though Ronnie's dad is an Islam believer, but his mother, a devoted Catholic, taught him and exposed him to Christianity as well. So he believed that Allah and Jesus Christ is the same God. It's a Catholic tradition that God will hear your prayers if you light a candle when you pray. So I help him lighting all the candles he needs. But for those who personally knew me, don't get me wrong guys, because I am not a Catholic. I am a Seventh-day Adventist believer. But I'm here to support Ronnie's belief, and that's what partners do, right? Because it is Sunday, it's the Church Day of the Catholics. And there's a Mass going on, so we attended the Mass. This is the Basilica of Santo Nino. The bell tower was under renovation last April 2015 because of the earthquake. Later on, we will get inside to the church to see the original Santo Nino sculpture given by the Spaniards to the Cebuanos. Whenever Ronnie is here, he always says a prayer to the Santo Nino or says thank you to all of his wonderful blessings he received. According to him and mostly of the Catholics, Santo Nino is miraculous and he grants mostly of the wishes you ask him. Santo Nino is a Spanish term which means balaang bata in Cebuano or banal na bata in Tagalog. In English, it means the Holy Child. In Roman Catholic, it is a vested statue of the infant child, Jesus. It is the oldest religious Christian image in the Philippines and was originally given in 1521 as a baptismal gift by the Portuguese explorer Ferdinand Magellan via Antonio Pigafita, who physically handed it to Lady Humamay, the chief consort of Braha Humabon. It took us almost 15 minutes halfway in line to the Santo Nino statue. And we're almost there. And it's Ronnie's turn. I don't know what he prayed for, but one thing's for sure, 
he got a lot of things to be thankful. One of these is his youngest son just graduated college, Bachelor of Science, major in Computer Science. And his two elder boys got a stable jobs in Chicago. And by God's grace, everything is good so far. After that, we headed somewhere to eat lunch. Usually, if it's early in the morning, we're taking the jeep instead of taxi. Because it's more fun, less traffic in the morning, and you can really feel the aura of Cebu City if you're riding the jeepney. Plus, it's cheaper to ride the jeepney, right? there you have it guys thank you so much for watching this short video and don't forget to hit like and subscribe till next fun and adventure god bless everyone